Hi there, this is Kimberly Wilson, and welcome to episode two of Tea with Tranquility. And I actually have my tea this time. So it's actually Tea with Kimberly. But what I wanted to do today is to talk you through the process of setting up dreams for a brand new month while also doing a little bit of a review of the previous month. All right, so using your year of tranquility, lifestyle planner and this released in January every month I like to just take a moment to sit down with it and review okay how did April go how did my previous month go did those dreams actually did I work towards them did I fulfill them is it going to get carried over into the next month there's no right or wrong the idea is just to make sure that we have a chance to do a little review so that's what I did so this morning I just took a peek through, I was like, hmm, okay, here were my April goals, right? And then of course, like a little intention setting and focusing around the moon phases. So what I did though today is I set up my May. And you may be like, why do you have kind of random blue splotches of washi tape? So what I'll do is I take a black Sharpie and I write in there. So here I'm gonna be in Pittsburgh that weekend to see the fabulous Garth Brooks. Um, us Oklahomans, we stick together. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to be at a tiny house, this little like cabin out in the woods that you can rent. If you go to getaway.house, you can find them. But anyway, we set this up months ago to go away. So I'll just write in the woods. And so why I like to do this is because it just like it, from a big picture perspective, it just kind of notes like, okay, these are not available because I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be away. So I'll do just a little bit of washi tape and it works great in any sort of planner. And if you change your mind, you can just pick it up and peel it off. So that's my May. Then also set my intention. Okay, what is it I want? What is my intention to bring forth, hopefully, and manifest in May? And so my intention that I wrote was exploration, especially with a little bits of travel, being out in the woods, things along those lines. So that felt appropriate for me for my intention. All right. And then I always just like to look back and be like, all right, so how did I do for my previous month? So looking through here, like one was to have 40 people at the Pigs and Pugs event. And we did. We actually sold out and we had 44 and some people kind of waiting there hoping to join. Um, finishing the compassion fatigue more portion or module of uh, my veterinary social work program. Did that. Taxes. Woo, did that. Daybook completion. Still working on that. And I'll have an announcement about that shortly read two books. I did. So, you know, it's just kind of nice to go through there. And then, of course, what I typically would do if I wasn't holding it and holding a Sharpie would be to check those off. And there's really not much more exciting or rewarding to me than checking off boxes. So that is one of the things that, uh, you know, I like to do is review. Okay, how did I do last month? All right. So what am I looking for this month? Okay, so then I've got this blank page for my month dreams and month review. And then what I'll do is I'll take uh, an image from a magazine, and I just happened to find this. It was from some flower magazine. And what I'll do is I'll try to, um, I set it down and then try to get it to fit on the page. So clearly that hangs off. And so what I want to do is get it to fit. So I'll just kind of, you know, put, I'll do a little bit of folding around the edges to see like, okay, would that fit? All right, that works. And then what I do is I'll just tear, or if I have scissors handy, which I happen to do, then I just cut it down. So I'll turn it down to fit into the book. You know, because usually magazine pages are quite a bit bigger. It's not a problem. You just um, do a little bit of trimming and you're all set. Okay, so once I've got this, then the only other tool or supply that I need is, say, a glue stick or washi tape. And of course, I always have both at the ready. So here we go. And just taking my glue stick, and I like to use magazine paper because, uh, you know, it's just got nice texture. And then also, because it works really great with a Sharpie. So I have a gold Sharpie or a silver Sharpie or a black Sharpie to write over it. So here we go. With this one, I would probably use black. Although, let me get a little crazy and go with gold. Well, it may not show up as much. And then sometimes, you know, a sheet will hang off the edge a little bit. So then I just peel it back up. 
and try to get it to set. Perfect. So voila. So there we go. And then from there, I'll just take again a black Sharpie or I do have this pretty gold one. And then right here at the top of this page, right? Because I put the image over which says like month's dreams, month's review. So then what I'll do is just add up at the top dreams, right? So and here, oh, this gold actually works really nicely. So dreams and then start with my boxes and begin to kind of lay out my month of May. So that's my process for creating a brand new month. I mean, again, happy, happy May. I love the start of a fresh month, a fresh week, a fresh day. There's something that just feels the opportunity to begin again and start over and start fresh. And so if you think about May or whatever month you may be watching this video, it's like, what are you excited about? What do you want to bring forth? Is it that you want to read two books? Is it that you want to be on your phone a little bit less? Is it that you want to have a certain amount of people at your nonprofit event? You know, what is it that would feel good to you? Is it that you want to eat more plant-based foods and less processed? So whatever it is, be sure to capture that. Write it out. And then at the end of the month or beginning of the following, do a review. How did you do? And begin to check those things off. And that is my process for creating my month streams and doing my month's review. So I hope that's helpful. A little bit of tea with Kimberly, and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful brand new month of May. Thanks for watching.